Hey there guys, Gretchen back with Facet 6. I'm gonna try, like I said, I'm gonna try to get these knocked out today. So Facet 6 is 6. <laughs> I even put lappies on and like I've had struggle bus issues. I did Shika Siki and Shika So and they threw it earlier. So hopefully that'll clear it up. The words are coming out, just sometimes not in the right order. Anywho. Anyway, um, where were we? Facet 6. Facet 6, the high low self. So the high low self is about connecting yourself to the powers that be above and your inner energies. This is basically a continuation of the yin yang. Um, so the male, female, left, right hemispheres are balanced now, right? Like that Ida Pingala, if you're a yogi or you know anything about Ida Pingala and the Shashumna. So that Ida and that Pingala, that guy balanced with the male, female energies in the last one. This one is the higher and lower self. So this one will connect you to your higher selves and get you in alignment with your inner self. So why is that important? Because we are all these light creatures, right? And we need to get these cells vibing with each other. Um, you're familiar that these energy cells are like they talk to each other. You have this big energy field nine feet around you in all directions. And that energy field imbues into you as well. So this keeps you connected to the aspects that are higher into your body, integrates into your body. I'm going to flip over to my notes really quickly. Integrates into your body, and this will help you with your three main aspects of human consciousness, your inner self, your soul, and your higher self. So your inner self and your soul are connected by the Shashumna, by your chakra and your nadis and all of that, right? They're in you and around you, yeah? And the inner self is clearly inner. However, parts of the inner self, that energy do seep out into that big energetic ball around you, as does your soul. And then we connect to that higher self, that smarter self, that person that you talk to between that crown chakra and that soul star chakra when you busted that bridge right there, and you can deal with them. Um, this is also a great one to meditate on to get rid of those little, what I call those little crunchies in your body, you know, when you... <sighs> And then on this scale, we check our body. We feel a little crunchies, and it may not even actually be in your body, but like right outside your body, but you know they're there. This one will help transmute those little crunchies because we've been working on letting them go and releasing them, releasing them. So instead of releasing them, what this one does is it takes those little crunchies and it flips them into energies that are good for you so we don't have to release it and replace it we just flip it out um, between what you've done the work that you've just done with that yin yang and the high low self um, so this like we said earlier uh, clears the flow between your inner self and the universal life energy or the akashic record is also what the universal life energy could be called um, your higher self, everybody is integrated into this thing because when you drop into that meditative state, hit that 7.8 hertz when you're doing your Reiki, you're on a different plane um, energetically and this will allow you to clear that path between your material earthly self, this guy, but you know, the, the energy is moving really fast, it creates matter, really connect that guy to the higher guy, to the Akashic record where past, present, and future all exist at one time instead of in a linear time space, um, which allows you a faster, deeper, better, quicker healing, right? For not only you, your room, your space, your water, your clients, your pets, whoever you're doing, whatever you're doing Reiki on, the forest right outside your house, the ground right outside your house, wherever you're doing Reiki um, to heal things. So this will actually give you that big, bigger, better oof, 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 to do it. Um, I do recommend doing this one with some other symbols because I love to really, really add those extra powers to it. I add that extra love, uh, that extra energy and get those feelings like really, really deep. Um, oh, heads up with this one. This is akin to uh, Anasui Karuna or Shambhala Master Teacher level. Um, we do only have one more facet after this. So this one will basically be your your master level. So if you do only through six, you are a master teacher in Sacrum Reiki and you can send in for your certificate. However, that being said, I prefer you do all seven um, because that would actually just like round out everything 
And if you're this far, why not do the last one, doodles? Mm. Um, so, yeah, let's get that knocked out. I'm going to get the seventh facet out. And then this evening I will work on the attunement for everybody that doesn't have an attunement. I think I'm going to put them all together in one attunement so you don't have to keep coming back time after time after time for these. Um, yeah, I do go live for members only Sundays at 2. Um, if you want to join in on that that conversation, go ahead and just become a member. I put out a whole bunch of different levels. I think there's one that's like $1.99 or 99 cents. Um, and they go way, way up. And thank you for those that have been financially supporting me. It's great. Um, that way I can continue to bring you these beautiful videos for Reiki and sound baths and herbalism and trauma healing and all the things so that we can get those really big energies right. Get those energies right. Get our own personal song back in tune. All right. Please hit that subscribe button for me or become a member and talk to me every week. Please plant a tree for me too. I know I'm asking a lot. When you plant that tree, if you could make it a food tree, plant it in the inner city. I'm tired of watching people go hungry. Um, my granddaughter is working on trying to sprout about a dozen cherry trees right now. That's a process too. Oh, buddy, is that a process? We didn't realize how what, what all went into sprouting cherry trees. It's almost as like it's almost as much as apple trees. <laughs> anyway, I ramble. Hit that subscribe button for me. And until next time. Namaste.